hello dear students welcome back to my channel hilo pharmacology in today's class let us learn about a very important topic under central nervous system that is clozapine so coming to the specific learning objectives of clozapine you need to understand clozapine under these headings that is the brief introduction to clozapine mechanism of action of clozapin uses of clozapin adverse effects of clozapin specific adverse effects of clozapin clinical pearl related to clozapin and a antipsychotic effects so moving on to the clozapin introduction so clozapin is a newer antipsychotic agent which has got weak d2 receptor blocking activity when compared to first generation antipsychotics which are also called as typical antipsychotics so clozapin is also called as atypical antipsychotics so please remember atypical antipsychotics will have weak d2 receptor blocking activity when compared to typical antipsychotics so pharmacokinetic property this drugs can be given orally and it is very effective so coming to the mechanism of action of clozapin so it has got two action which you need to remember that is the major action by blocking the 5-HT2A 2C receptor and the minor action being weak d2 receptor blocking activity in addition to blocking of 5 ht 2 a 2c receptor it also got potent anticholinergic action alpha 1 receptor blocking action h1 receptor blocking action and due to the blocking of h1 receptors it can lead to side effects such as sedation and as a paradoxical phenomenon to anticholinergic action it can lead to hyper salivation so coming to the indications of clozapine clozapine being a atypical antipsychotic agent they are useful in the treatment of schizophrenia in particularly they are very much useful in the treatment of negative symptoms associated with schizophrenia and they are very helpful in the treatment of refractory schizophrenia which are also called as resistant schizophrenia which are not responding to the typical antipsychotic agents so coming to the common adverse effects of clozapine so it can cause metabolic side effects which is also called as lipodystrophy syndrome which is characterized by weight gain hyperglycemia which can precipitate diabetes mellitus hyperlipidemia and insulin resistance so these atypical antipsychotic agent although it can lead to extrapyramidal side effects the extrapyramidal side effects are very less when compared to the typical antipsychotics so extrapyramidal symptoms are less frequent with respect to atypical antipsychotics when compared to typical antipsychotics it can lead to seizure whenever they are given at the higher doses and it can lead to sedation due to blocking of h1 receptors so coming to the specific adverse effects of clozapine so the specific adverse effects of clozapine or agranulocytosis so therefore you the patient has to be kept on weekly monitoring of leukocyte count it can also lead to myocarditis it can lead to hypersalivation it can cause helias urinary incontinence unstable blood pressure as well as tachycardia so coming to the clinical pearl please remember clozapine has got lower incidence of extrapyramidal side effect when compared to the typical antipsychotics but on the other hand it has got higher risk of metabolic adverse effects such as 
diabetes due to hyperglycemia, hypercholesterolemia and weight gain. So coming to the antipsychotic effects in general, so all the antipsychotic drugs like the first generation antipsychotics will going to predominantly block the D2 receptors in the mesolimbic system of the brain thereby it will going to reduce the positive symptoms. So what are all the positive symptoms? Positive symptoms are hallucination, delusions. So first generation antipsychotic by blocking the D2 receptors predominantly it will going to reduce hallucination and delusions which are associated with schizophrenia thereby it helps in relieving the positive symptoms of schizophrenia. So on the other hand the first generation antipsychotic they are not very much responsive in relieving the negative symptoms of schizophrenia which are characterized by blunted effects, apathy, impaired attention and cognitive impairment. So in such case you need to go for second generation antipsychotic agents such as clozapine, reserpine, quetiapine, arapiprazole which are also called by the other name that is atypical antipsychotics. So these atypical antipsychotic will going to ameliorate the negative symptoms to some extent thereby it will relieve the negative symptoms associated with schizophrenia. So coming to the summary of the clozapine, so clozapine it predominantly blocks 5-HT2A 2C receptors and it has got weak D2 receptor blocking activity. In addition, it also blocks the muscarinic receptor, histamine receptor and the alpha-1 receptors. So they are indicated mainly in the treatment of resistance schizophrenia and are, and are very helpful in relieving ne negative symptoms associated with schizophrenia. So adverse effects it can lead to metabolic side effects like weight gain, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, hyperglycemia, etc. And it has got lower incidence of extrapyramidal side effects. And also it can cause sedation and seizures which are mainly seen at the higher doses. So the specific adverse effects of clozapine are agranulocytosis, myocarditis and hypersalivation. The clinical pearl which you should remember along with the clozapine is clozapine being an atypical antipsychotic agent it has got lower incidence of extrapyramidal side effect when compared to first generation or the typical antipsychotic agents. So this was all about the clozapine mechanism uses adverse effects specific adverse effects. So if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the like button and share this video. Thank you.